Does this make it? Does this make Xyloid the Fire Lord? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, you also need to update the UI when you have it. Yeah, I got it. It's there. there. Alright, we go. Fresh UI. And we got it to Mario. Now now oh. this is where it gets full serious. This is Anoboss's final form, av full avatar state on display. <coughs> oh my goodness, and already the wall of projectile coming from Byloid, keeping Mario out. He's just so good at threading them around so it covers so much space. Alright, so it seems like obviously and and boss had to adapt his style. He has to go now for the full Mario, it seems. Oh my god. Every time the gonna... laser hits after the gyro, it hurts my soul. Ugh. No, I know that feeling. But here's the thing, it's oh, oh my goodness, no. here here comes Xyloid down yeah. throw into the up <laughs> uh, up up smash connect. Just kind of at a loss for words here, but anyways, yeah, it seems like Andaboss right now trying to opt to um, just go for um, for just the more infighting, like the more fundamental kind of approach, because it seems like that is going to be his secret or his key to, or strategy Ooh. rather to be able to win, being able to catch Xylord in the air like that. But he does need does need to actually tack on a little bit more damage before he can actually go for a yeah. first stock. Oh my goodness! I thought he was going to fall for the gyro trap. Managed to get out just in time. <laughs> Interesting strategy. Anaboss actually is doing the same thing that he does with the Zelda, where he actually uses yeah. the cape to uh, kind of um, de-arm the, um, the, yeah, the gyroid, gyro. then, and being able to actually pick it up. But I know Styloid has essentially master the art of picking up items on the ground in any position, so that's not gonna work all the time. He has to just be careful. To yeah, I have actually seen- I, I did notice that in the last match between Xyloid and Radio, is that, yeah. like, he was able to juggle multiple gyroids just- yeah, or sorry, yeah. gyros, just because he just knows how to pick them up off the ground. It's never yeah, really exactly. been a problem he for him. He practices picking up items as raw, so he knows the timing on most Interesting. I should probably do that. Was, you know what? It's, who said oh. watching Smash tournaments can't be informative? <laughs> <laughs> it's educational. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Zylord <laughs> actually running away with this right over here. Oh my lord. Obviously, when I, sitting at 134, any Smash attack by Mario will be able to actually clutch it, but like, I mean, that's still just Zylord one stock. Playing the keep away game and not letting Andrew Boss get in. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Someone call Shaquille O'Neal, but that was that was one heck of a dunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, and boss, good stuff. Now you need to do two more of those. <laughs> yeah, just, just two more dunks. No, no two pressure. more dunks. No pressure. Two more sweaty dunks. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> two more sweaty dunks. Oh, I thought he was going for it. <laughs> and boss right now still has quite the steep hill to climb, but of course he's not uh, gonna be able to back down by any means. He's actually going in fist flailing. He knows how he he knows how he wants to be able to do this. Actually get Xyloid off the stage and maybe repeat the same success that he actually saw in that first dog. Oh. oh my goodness! Did he just use the water and just blow the yeah. gyro off? Okay. Weird interaction, I don't think I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I've seen weirder things in 2020, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he, oh, he caught the Zyro in the air! I don't know if that was intentional, but it worked out in his favor. <laughs> yeah, pop off, Antiboss. But anyways, alright. Anyways, Xyloid still looking really, really good. He's sitting at 80%, but it's not going to phase him in, in the slightest. Still just packing on the extra damage. He's playing very passively. You can tell that he's going to be able to oh, do this. No, he grabs no, Mario, goes for the up bad. throw off the platform, oh, and wow. that's going to be the first game. Xyloid looking strong and just absolutely going to make that game take that game with two stocks to spare. Like, he didn't even bother going for the down throw into the up smash. He was like, I'm just going to go for the safe option and take you out. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it seems like in that match, like, okay, 
I don't know. In your situation, like, what do you think would probably be the optimal play here? Do you stick with Mario or do you go with, uh, or Zelda? Uh, it's really you tough saw success. Um, yeah, it's, it's so hard to say, right? Yeah, it's really tough because it's not only how the Rob that is insanely talented, it's Max's skills with it. He's put so much time into the character that he knows the frame data by heart. He's memorized all the interactions. It's more you're fighting that knowledge pool as opposed to actually fighting the character. <laughs> And which is which is a shame too because it's like the character in and of itself is already really yeah. ridiculously good. So that adding that double yeah. that extra layer of like super cerebral uh, raw player is just like a deadly combo in and of itself. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this isn't your regular bottle of ketchup or jar of mayonnaise you're, you're basically fighting mayo chip what was it called <laughs> mayo it's a... chip oh god <laughs> yeah it's op yeah. man oh my oh. goodness speaking of op yeah anubas is gonna have to be careful with whipping those teleport kills because any mistake versus Zyloid is gonna cost him potentially a stock so yeah and a boss oh, right now okay. he's gonna have to deep <laughs> dig really deep into the bag of trips. You know what makes it really interesting is the fact that, like, Xylai, he's so patient with his plays. Like, he doesn't yeah. need to actually go all in. Oh my goodness. Alright, he got okay. caught with a forward here, finally. Um, so Xylai's gonna be on, pretty much on the, on just making sure that, like, that won't happen again. I think he's yeah. gonna, he, for the most part, he's been very careful to, like, mix up all of his landings. And yeah, that's the thing, one thing that Anubasa actually is really known for, is just, like, his ability to catch landings with, like, relatively ease. Yeah, both of these players are very good at adapting, but it's going to be a matter of who essentially doesn't fall for the other tricks first. Oh, Ooh. okay then. I can see what he was trying to go for. Like, he was going to yeah. use the side B to be able to bounce the Phantom, but it seems like the fire actually caught him first. Yeah. Oh, is that that? Oh, that's that. Nope. Oh, that was oh so goodness. close. Oh, the patience oh, of the boss. <laughs> I would have gotten them right into that. <laughs> oh, the lead shenanigans. Anaboss right now, just being so patient right now. He's going to get grabbed. Up throw is going to be it, and that's oh. it. Now, right now, Xyloid looking very comfortable. 88% two stocks right now. Yeah, Anaboss he, has he, to be careful. He's showing his, his perfect grab right there. <laughs> oh. His ability to essentially keep his momentum while grabbing. Oh my goodness. What a great recovery. Yeah, mixing it up. I'm sure Anaboss didn't really expect that, especially with the amount of, uh, with the uh, underside of um, Suzaku Castle being what it is. Mm -hmm. But that being said, right now, Zyla just steadily building more damage. He's not going to let the fact that he has 126% phase him in the slightest. Uh, oh, he, he doesn't really care about his damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, but he is definitely going to have to care about the up air that Zelda's going to be able to toss out. Thus now, right now, bringing Xyloid to his last stock. This is, in fact, so far the farthest that Anaboss has been able to get. And hopefully, he can capitalize on it by getting extra damage and possibly the final stock, but that remains to be seen. And it's looking less and less likely as Anaboss continues to accumulate a little bit more damage. Yeah. I think he's going to have to be a bit more patient. Oh, there we go. He's going to have to be a bit more patient. He's kind of throwing out moves, and Xyloid is watching out for that and punishing what he can. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's actually that's very true. Like as I look right now, he seems very comfortable, just kind of taking his time. He's setting up the gyro. Oh. The, the, what's that? A spike by the gyro at the ledge? Yep. Yeah. That toy is oppressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh. my goodness! And the back air. Oh. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, right now, Xyloid, sitting with two <laughs> wins, has to win hit one more win. Yeah, to claim another victory at TSS. <laughs>
This is the the abridged version of uh, Avatar that no nobody's ever seen, where the Fire Lord actually does win, and then the future plunges into like this deep darkness, and it's Nickelodeon darkest, shuts down and lays off all of its co or its workers, and then everybody goes hungry, <laughs> oh and the animators God. suddenly can't feed their families, and, and, and <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible things happen. So it's just the darkest Avatar timeline. <laughs> yes. This is the like the this isn't the, just the bad future. It's like the 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 worst possible imaginable future. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch this. <laughs> I suddenly feel very depressed. <laughs> I know, seriously. It's like I don't like this story anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, let's. It's not over yet. Hopefully, Anaboss will be able to actually make a little bit more reprisal here. But anyways, that remains to be seen. Round three. Uh, here we go, folks. Anaboss versus Xyloid. Raw versus Zelda. Seems like Anaboss is going to be sticking on the Zelda. It seems to be his best um, option at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It, it, his best answer. I feel like the Mario was too easy to keep out. Um, Mario being small and having short limbs and not too many disjoints means he has to get in really close and Rob pretty much just stops you from doing that. But Zelda, Oof. he can at least camp a little bit and reflect. Um, and the reflect is a lot better than the game, so... Oh, the kick! So I think this Zelda is a definite better choice for this matchup. Oof. Nice right, and boss actually showing some signs of the light here. Actually keeping up with Xyloid in terms of damage. It's just a matter of how will we be able to actually creatively finish this stock. But of course Xyloid being on the watch for any sort of uh, threatening move being thrown out by Anaboss right here as both of them kind of like just continue to brawl at the ledge. Man, oh, my heart here comes racing as soon as they're both shielded by the ledge. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness! Oh the DI! The DI coming up by Anubos. Oh my goodness. I thought he was going to get two frames. Okay, Anubos definitely showing signs of life and then some. Then again, being able to play with reckless abandon over here at the ledge. Does make it back onto the stage. Has to watch out for the gyro. Or sorry, gyro. Oh! Oh! The exactly forward smash. Before. He's going to have to be a bit more conservative with those of these because Xyloid is looking out for it. It's and just again. kind of funny to that situation just in in general is kind of funny because it's like I feel that Animal Boss is so good at doing that towards others. He's just kind of waiting patiently for them to actually get back on the ledge and then just throws out a forward smash. But Xyloid having no problem whatsoever taking a page from uh, oh. Animal Boss's book. Oh, it's just so hard to actually approach Rob in general. Never mind the plethora of uh, gyros and lasers. It's just the fact that anytime you try to get close, you have to be able to actually uh, block any flurry of incoming hits from the infighting with Rob. And then probably try to see if you can capitalize on any weak point whatsoever, just like Anaboss did. Oh my goodness! Beautiful play, actually, by Xyloid, actually uh, setting up the gyro. Hello. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Okay, there so we I... go. My microphone died. So right but now, yeah, we are... Saying, um, that's kind of what I was saying before, how Xyloid has memorized so many interactions with uh, items, he knew exactly the angle that uh, that was going to send Zelda to set up for the oh. match. Oh my goodness, that would have been it right now. Anaboss oh. sitting in a very tricky position at the moment, 109%. Sitting in the last stock, Xyloid right now. Once again, in the same situation as before, just sitting at two stocks right here, does go for the grab right here, oh and my maybe God, that's going to be it, the, full, the up smash, and that's going to be able to secure it. Xyloid, once again, oh returning to his throne.